Binghamton is a city rich in hockey history, but you may not know one of its biggest success stories, Mike Dunham, former NHL goalie and current coach with the Boston Bruins. It was a nice, quiet place. Uh, had a lot of fun. I remember playing street hockey every day. I spent a lot of time going to the Broom Dusters, who turned into the Binghamton Whaler Games. NOL native Mike Dunham got his start as a young kid in the Southern Tier Hockey Association. One of his coaches, a well-known name in local hockey, Tom Mitchell. Back in the early 80s, uh, I coached my son's uh, travel team in the Southern Tier Hockey Association and uh, for three or four years. And during that period of time, Mikey was our, our goalie. And Mitchell says Dunham stood out, a natural athlete, always competitive and driven, even at a young age. Mikey was our number one guy, and he got a lot of ice time. Um, and I always knew that, you know, he took it, you know, a lot, maybe more serious than some of the other kids on the team. When he wasn't playing hockey, he was watching it. His family had season tickets for the Dusters and Whalers. The veteran NHL goalie still remembers the joy of being a fan and getting to play with his favorite team. The thing I remember most was being able to skate with the Binghamton Whalers uh, and go on the ice with them when I was 12 and 13 years old when they were missing a goalie and they needed a goalie. I still remember thinking it was the best day of my life being able to skate with professional hockey players when I was su at such a young age. When it became clear that Dunham could have a future in hockey, he enrolled at Canterbury Prep School where he played for three seasons. Then he went to University of Maine, playing on one of college hockey's greatest teams in his final season in 1993. That year, the Maine Black Bears went 42-1-2 and won the NCAA championship. Maine's road success starts with all-world goaltending. Hope cutting in, out in front, it's stopped by Dunham! Winning a national championship at the University of Maine, that was my first big uh, championship. But the NHL remained Dunham's top goal. He was drafted as a freshman by the New Jersey Devils and went to play for their minor league affiliate in Albany after finishing college, winning the Calder Cup on Albany's River Rats in 1995. That was special because I grew up watching AHL hockey. We certainly had a good team in Albany. Uh, it was the same year the New Jersey Devils won their first Stanley Cup, so we were certainly a strong organization. A strong organization that saw Dunham's potential with the help of a familiar face. Devils goalie coach Jacques Caron first met Mike Dunham in Binghamton when the Enwell native was 12. His father, Ron, was a golf pro, and I used to take a uh, lesson from his father for golfing. Back then, Caron was coaching for the Binghamton Whalers. The pair met up again over a decade later, when an NHL strike led Caron to help out the AHL goalies in Albany. So I worked with them there for three months. Of course, I knew Mike for a long time, so uh, it was kind of a, a good time. With the help of Caron, Dunham made his NHL debut with the Devils in 1996, kicking off a three-year stint with his first organization before being selected in the 1998 NHL expansion draft to play for hockey's newest franchise, the Nashville Predators. In 2002, during his time with the Preds, Dunham took a break from the NHL to play in his third and final Olympics, taking home a silver medal for Team USA. After watching the 1980 Olympics growing up around that, um, I always wanted to play in the Olympic Games, and for me to be able to do three of them was, you know, looking back, was certainly something special. He'd later play for the Rangers, Thrashers, and Islanders, ending his playing career in Long Island in 2007. Now 35, Dunham successfully transitioned from Islanders goalie to Islanders goalie coach. It was an easy transition for me because I was still around the same people that I was around the year before, and it kind of helped that transition go a, lot, a little smoother uh, moving into the coaching role. After nine years coaching with the Islanders organization, Dunham got a call to coach for the Bruins and a chance to be closer to his family. With a career spanning over two decades and counting, including 10 years as one of the NHL's elite goalies, Dunham says to dream big because you never know what could happen. Have fun chasing your dreams, enjoy the ride because it goes by very quickly, uh, and believe that you can do it because you can. If, if you put the hard work into it, if, if you believe in yourself, and want to get better, uh, there's no ceiling for you. 